Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here this morning. Um, I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi off, so hopefully I won't have any issues with the video today. I've been trying to do that every morning. So this morning, I want to talk about your five minutes with God or five minutes with Holy Spirit. Um, Marianne Williamson teaches from A Course in Miracles that basically the Course guarantees that if you spend your first five minutes talking to God every day, that He will be in your thoughts throughout the day. He will, He will be, I'm sorry, He will be like, like helping you manage your thoughts throughout the day. So what does that first five minutes of the day spent with the Holy Spirit look like? For me, it happens immediately after I wake up and kind of get adjusted in my bed a little bit. And I start with gratitude. Good morning, Shelley. Um, my day starts with gratitude. My first five minutes with the Holy Spirit, you can call it whatever you like. I'm, I'm comfortable with everything. Uh, you can talk to God, you can talk to Jesus, you can talk to Allah, you can talk to higher consciousness, you can speak to the universe, spirit, whatever is comfortable for you. Um, that other part of us that is in our subconscious, basically, that is our connection with the, the divine. Um, so that's what I mean when I say first five minutes with the Holy Spirit or the first, your first five minutes with God. Um, for me personally, as I started to say, um, my first five minutes consist of gratitude and thanking God. For me, it's God. Thanking God for, for waking up one more day. Thanking God for the many blessings that I have in my life, and I do have a lot. Um, for the things in my life. Yeah, you can thank God for things. It's okay. Um, my home, my car, my dog, my parents, my friends, my family. I thank Him for my work. I thank Him for my school. Um, anything that you feel gratitude for. Good morning, Mark. That's a great way to start your day, is just reflecting on all those things that you are so grateful for. Um, Marianne Williamson says that, that our trouble today is that nobody has any impulse control. Uh, we're being bombarded every day with chaos and upsetting information and news and on TV, on social media, in the newspaper, from our friends. And we have to work at staying in our center because we're not used to doing that. Um, we're not used to taking that time to be there and to be, to get into our hearts and just to be with ourselves. We have to build our capacity to do that. Um, slow down, just slow down daily meditation or if you want to call it five minutes with God or five minutes with Holy Spirit this can be your daily meditation if all you have is five minutes hey five minutes is beautiful that's fine if you can do more if you want to do more by all means I'm not gonna tell you not to I do it at least 20 minutes every morning and at least 20 minutes every night and uh, in addition to my first five minutes with God so um, by doing a, a daily meditation, it will radically reduce our chances of getting it wrong. Um, by doing it daily, we build that strength to do it. We build our muscle, basically. And because um, we, don't, we don't know what's going to happen each day when we start our day. Uh, we don't know what phone call we might get. Uh, we don't know what might transpire at work. We don't know what might transpire on our drive to work. 
We don't know what might transpire when we go to the grocery store, a doctor's appointment. We don't even know what might transpire when we're just sitting enjoying a cup of coffee in the morning, right? So taking that time each morning and going within and just being in your center and being calm, um, just being with the Holy Spirit, that will help to prepare you. And you know, we're going to get it wrong sometimes. We're not going to handle every situation perfectly. But the idea is that as you do this on a daily basis, and you continue to build it and build it and build it and build that muscle, the next time this comes around again, you'll handle it a little bit better. Does that make sense? So, you know, we're all, we have to just remember that, that we're all human. We're all working our path, walking our path. And sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. We just continue to build it. And uh, it's, it's all about progress, not perfection. Um, anybody who has ever been an Al-Anon or AA or NA or any of those and has worked the 12 steps, um, you know, the, the different sayings that they have in those groups are so empowering. You know, my favorite, let go and let God. Um, that's when I learned in Al-Anon. Uh, progress, not perfection is another one. They're really, really empowering statements. So if you are um, familiar with any of those groups or have ever attended any of those meetings in the past, you will be familiar with them as well. And if not, they're well worth checking out because they, they do have a lot of, um, they do have a lot of power in them. So, uh, one other thing that, oh, one other, I, you know, I, I'm so scattered sometimes. I'm like reading like five books at the same time and I'm watching videos. And, I mean, this is what a good portion of my day consists of. But just one other little note that I wrote down in my little, my little journal book that I keep by me all the time. Thank you, Mark. Uh, that Marianne Williamson said in some video I was watching. If you see your pain as an opportunity for growth, miraculous things begin to happen. So reframing that really painful experience that you've had. And... Um, just seeing the blessing in it. It's not easy to do when you're in the midst of it. And I'll be the first to admit that. It's, it's not easy to do that. But as you get down the road a little bit and you can step back and take a, a more objective view of it, um, you'll see what a beautiful opportunity it was for your growth. Hi, Jen, how are you? Welcome. And so, anyway, there you go. I'm. As I mentioned, I'm always reading so many books, and I just started one on my Kindle last night. And I know I'm going to like this book because it's very similar to probably the first book I ever read that like really totally, totally resonated with me, and that was Conversations with God. This is all pretty much the same premise, and it's very much... Um, the same teachings as Science of Mind and um, you know the Centers for, for Spiritual Living. Um, I love this though, you know, if you're asking about, well, what, that five minutes with God, what should I be, what should I be thinking? Um, what should I ask God? You know, what should I be doing during that time? And he offers a beautiful meditation in the first chapter of this book, Three Magic Words, it's called I'm just going to read just a few lines of it, just to give you an idea. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? Um, I know that I am pure spirit, that I always have been, and that I always will be. There is inside me a place of confidence and quietness and security, where all things are known and understood. This is universal mind, God, of which I am part of and which responds to me as I ask of it. This universal mind knows the answer to all of my problems, and even now the answers are speeding their way to me. 
I needn't struggle for them. I needn't worry or strive for them. When the time comes, the answers will be there. I give my problems to the great mind of God. I let go of them, confident that the correct answers will return to me when they are needed. Through the great law of attraction, everything in life that I need for my work and fulfillment will come to me. It's not necessary that I strain about this, only believe. For in the strength of my belief, my faith will make it so. I see the hand of divine intelligence all about me, in the flower, the tree, the brook, the meadow. I know that the intelligence that created all these things is in me and around me, and that I can call upon it for my slightest need. I know that my body is a manifestation of pure spirit, and that spirit is perfect. Therefore, my body is perfect also. I enjoy life, for each day brings a constant demonstration of the power and wonder of the universe and myself. I am confident, I am serene, I am sure. No matter what obstacle or undesirable circumstance crosses my path, I refuse to accept it, for it is nothing but illusion. There can be no obstacle or undesirable circumstance to the mind of God, which is in me and around me and serves me now. Okay, so I did read the whole thing. I couldn't stop. It was good. It's good stuff. So what a great frame of mind. Uh, be still. Create the space. Gain more tools. Yeah, we all need more tools. Silence is golden. I agree, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, we have to create that space within us every day, every single day. And um, take time for you. Go within. Be there for yourself. Spend some time with God. There's one other thing I was going to going to read but now I don't remember what it was oh I do know what it was I don't know if I can find it though sorry I've got my little tablet here um where the hell are my pictures at I don't use this very often <laughs> I, I just charged it up yesterday so I could put this kindle book on it here you go it's today's um it's today's little calendar thing from from Wayne Dyer that was on Facebook if you're not following his page, check it out. It's really cool. Of course, you know, he's not the one writing it anymore. Well, maybe he is. Um, the most effective thing you can do to remember your source is to affirm unhesitantly, I am first and foremost an eternal spiritual being. I cannot be anything but this. And I can go within and try to be like God in all my thoughts and actions. Isn't that beautiful? How fitting. Friday, June 8th, it says. So, anyway, I would invite you to try spending those five minutes with God in the morning or with the Holy Spirit, with the universal mind. At Sweeha, they call it Gus, God, universe, spirit. Um, whatever works for you is fine. I believe it's all the same source. Honestly. Postcards from Spirit. Every day I just ask for a little message that will resonate with anybody who is watching this now or later. Uh, these are a deck from Colette Baron Reed. They're called Postcards from Spirit. So. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you, and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew 
how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan. And when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those in spirits. Remember though, spirits timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirits ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life and therefore you know that a miracle has taken place. We love you so much. I don't think I need to say anything at all about that. That's, that is beautiful perfection. It's just, it always amazes me how the right card comes up every day. I don't know why it amazes me, because it shouldn't, you know? It's, I've come to expect miracles, and I'm just so grateful for them. And I'm so grateful for you, and thank you for being here. Tomorrow morning, I'll be on a little bit early, because I have to leave early um, in the morning. And so, I'll be on a little bit earlier, and I'm going to talk about how to spend the last five minutes before you go to sleep at night. So we've got our morning, we'll have our night, and then on Sunday morning, early, we'll do another little meditation together, another guided imagery. So peace and blessings, have a beautiful day, and uh, I welcome your comments and suggestions, and smash the share button, I love it when you do that. Have a great day, love you.